You know by the sigh where I am and what I'm doing. How's it going, everybody? Let's look at some die casts. Hopefully. Mm. I'll tell you what. I'm really down with McLaren. feel bad about not picking up that McLaren sometime, but Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Oh, wow. At one point, there was a Boulevard set here. I'm shocked. Let's see if we can find the rest of it. Oh, and uh, good thing. Stood a lot of Tony Hawk skate crap for you. packaging people just ugly what is that Corvette Blech. Mercedes <laughs> playing all the hits okay we got neons <sighs> lots and lots and lots of four buys sets that people take off the pegs and don't put back up the freaks keep the scene clean folks um, and now I can't even remember what I was looking for oh yeah the boulevard sets that don't exist now and these X-Men I gotta say the, the cars they chose are, are cool I'm not really totally hip on the livery but I do like the cars that they've chosen. What is that? Call the light. Okay, I'm assuming that's a fantasy car. Uh, anyway, forward. So, started off the day by, um, talking to my mom on the phone. Hi, mom. Call your mom. She's a very strong woman. She put up with me as a teenager. I mean, that's some strength. I, I tested that metal every damn day and night. It's amazing she still speaks with me. I'm sure you can understand. Um, anyway, I thought I would get out today and check things out. I needed to get some gas in my car. And there's actually a couple places I want to go. So, let's go check them out. Let's see if there's anything. I do this for y'alls. When I say y'alls, it's a person. Y'all's is a person. Anyway. Um, through the miracle of editing. Alright. Here we are. At uh, the airport. Uh, Wally. Wally. Otherwise known as the Super Wally. But there's really nothing super about it. You know. Um, wow, uncomfortable silences, huh? Uh, this looks better from a distance, but now that I'm here, it doesn't look very good. Let's take a look at the rest of it. 
Um, plenty of the X-Men set. Sir Ominous. See, you know, they, they went like half real cars and half fantasy cars. I don't dig that at all. Uh, the Neon, which is an amazingly ugly package. That's kind of nice, but unfinished. The problem with Matchbox, they're starting to get like, they're starting to act like uh, Hot Wheels and not finish the cars. Not doing tempos in the back. Well, that's sort of front. Front is finished. That's not a bad car. That's, that's all right. 57. Um, I do love that Buick. But again, you know, if it, if it weren't for the undercarriage, it wouldn't look finished. Um, but at least there's some new matchbox here. Anyway, don't expect to find a super chase or anything of that nature, but crazy for a Mercury. And a Fox body. I do like those sometimes. Muscle machines. Captured by hot pink. It just happens. My eye goes right to it. I don't like it much. That's the weird thing. I think uh, growing up in the 80s got me off a of neon pretty quickly. But uh, some new Jada? New packaging, anyway. Four wheeling bumblebee. Mm. And, uh, Family. Um, you know, we got the major red pink slip stuff that they're putting out. Jada. It's just they don't feel very substantial. They feel like a major at car, which feels light, in my opinion. But, um,. Oh, my nephew will be happy. There's some new working rigs out. That's that's pretty cool. And ways. Very nice. Uh, let's see what else is going on. You know, I have one of these. I need to open it. Maybe I'll do that today. Because there really isn't much happening here. A bunch of new fusion, ruin, Isabel. None of the skins that I'm looking for. was that much that's far too much you're buying a lot of package there um, if you're a collector of this sort of thing you know um, that's a that's a hell of an outlay for a quote-unquote master grade figure in that scale um, for instance, there's the 
one dollar. Can you tell any difference? I didn't think so. job on Tory Wilson here. Um, it's not bad, right? It's not bad. I'd accept that. And everybody, it's our uh, son-in-law, Kellen Sparks. Face sculpts make or break a figure, and some of these new ones are actually pretty good really don't mind them at all. I think they're, they're, they're done well. Annie and I sat through uh, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Amongst Thieves the other day, and um, it's a long movie, but it's pretty good, and um, it's kind of made me look at these figures and stuff a little harder now. Um, not that I'm going to pick any of them up, but uh, it was a really fun movie, and uh, it's streaming on several services, uh, so, sort of for free or included, like Prime or some of those other uh, things. Maybe you even saw it on uh, Peacock. Might have even been on Peacock. By the way, um, John Stewart, the Green Lantern, only one they have never cut the price on. It has remained at 10 bucks, rain or shine. Captain Adam, still not selling. <laughs> and I'm actually surprised to see the, the dead Superman here still. Interesting. Uh, anyway, let's go check the phone booth and get on to the next place, huh? When I say check the phone booth, this is the display, I mean. Um, the, a lot of places have done away with them by now, but because they just trash everything that goes through them like a, like a paper shredder. But um, yeah, still nothing new. This is one of Andre's favorites, by the way. So yeah. Doing it for y'all. This is the third Wally in a row. Hmm. So, any butts on if there's a mystery machine in all of those Warner Brothers hundreds? Let's take a look. mystery machine is the only one I'm missing from that set and I don't really feel like I need to get it because I already have it in so many other forms but GTO, the judge, looks actually pretty good, but you didn't finish it. And if you're going to charge $3 for a car, you really need to finish it. Throw up the my lunch. 
make me wanna vomit. It's Marvin Gaye. Uh, nothing there. Moving parts. My wife would love to own a sprinter. Humvees, sprinters, nothing I need. A bunch of Mercedes. <laughs> Come on, man. Enough with the neon. Um, again, sorry about my sniffling coming in and out of air conditioning. It screws with my what? is actually kind of depressing because the car doesn't allow me at all it's the package willpower people well, now you're just running out of names Everywhere I've been lately, um, which has largely been box stores or resale shops, I will admit, I have not even seen the Alan Scott Green Lantern. It is, I believe it's, it only comes as the McFarlane Collector Series. I may be wrong on that. And if I am, please let me know in the comments. Um, well, I've been thinking while I'm out here today, I've been thinking about whether or not I should, um, like, go invade every GameStop that we have here, which is a considerable amount. I think we've got at least four or five that are easy spitting distance from my house and um so would you like to see me break with my oath to never shop shop at <coughs> GameStop by going in and asking them about the Alan Scott figure and then making an absolute mockery of the price or um, the fact that it's still sitting around and I'll give them half what they, what they want for it. And then I'll like go in and try to haggle. I think that might be fun. Wow, there's a beautiful VW Bug just drove by. Probably 70, 74, 75, but sparkling clean. Um, anyway, I got a couple more stops to make on the way home, so you're coming with me you like it or not stick around through the miracle of editing we will be
Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. For my encore, I'd like to play Being Creepy in Target. That's some new shoes. Uh, my wife demanded it, and um, it's weird walking and even weirder driving in them. Because the old ones are paper thin. I could, uh, if I could read Braille with my toes, then I could probably read Braille through the bottom of those shoes. But such fine pedal control. Anyway, completely unrelated news. Here we go into Target. Acceleration. Oh, sorry. Here, do you want to look up my nose instead? Do you see a neutron or a proton up my nose? a scale I just don't deal with. I don't know if it's just me or like I'm just noticing these things now more. This one looks horribly cheap. It's melted. You know, they wondered what LSD was going to do 60 years on. I think we have our answer in ways. Those are cute. I'm going to point this out again. Am I the only one? Am I the only one? Somebody got away with something there. Um, but okay. Not much was happening. Um, no new McFarland. Kind of looking for the, um, oh, I spoke a little too soon. They've got the Tim Drake, which is cool. Um, good to see it. Not one that I'd be looking for. That is a decent Superman. I saw this on a floosh. They were saying that this is a decent as any kind of stand-in if you're gonna have Superman in your collection. Sorry, Rusty, I gotta talk a little shit. But, um, yeah. Let's see how many of these are hanging out still. <laughs> All of them, Chris. We're gonna get a hold of these cheaper than regular and by the way have you has anybody else picked one of these up next time you see one of these pick it up you can do serious damage to another child with that it's heavy um nobody picking up the ant-man nobody's picking up that two pack those two packs are all sitting there the only ones i don't see are the hulk and those may just be 
avoiding my gaze at the moment, maybe. Or they've all been hidden under shelving. <laughs> Shout out to the shelf flippers. Um, okay. What? Dusty. Dusty. As I said at the other store, by the way, my wife and I finally watched this movie and check that owlbear out on. That's kind of cool. Um, I would love to pick one of these up when I'm, when they're more affordable, but, uh, Displacer Beast, there were some interesting things in there. They, you know, it was a good movie because you could watch it, and if you didn't know anything about that, that other game, it's still entertaining. They're finally figuring that out. note, got to get that pond working in the backyard, hon. We're definitely getting one of these for it. Um, and really nothing happening in the, uh, the wrestling department. Okay. Let's go look at the uh, collector crap and we'll get the hell out of here. Tour. Uh, nope, doesn't look like anything new. I just walked up and this is like this. ET is a ET should be ET is a fascist. Do they still say that on YouTube? Fascist. Welcome back to the lab, everybody. Such as it is. Every day, such as it is. Um, a pretty good outing today. Not not, um, not all disappointment. Um, so, uh, what I did end up picking up today was the Sock Monkey Fortnite character. Um, the banana... Uh, harvesting tool and the fact that it's it's the sock monkey monks is the name of the character um i i just you know i couldn't i couldn't resist she's so cute and there's an in-game um skinned claim the uh it comes with a danger donut wrap so i can wrap my stuff in danger donut yeah i know you heard a grown man say that. All right, folks, that's what we got for you today. Thank you very much for coming out here to the Monkey Shine Lab. We really appreciate it. And if you do think about it, you know, just kind of throw us a little uh, click on the subscription button. And hey, throw us a comment whether or not you're new. Please uh, engage with us because we engage back. And uh, sometimes it's even fun. Anyway. Have a good one, and I will catch you tomorrow right here on Monkey Shine Lab. Take it easy, everybody. Bye.